So it's late. I am about ready to go to sleep. Trying to be festive. And I'm about to watch It's a Wonderful Knife. I have a sleeping baby in the other room, so I'm trying to be really quiet. Um, but I don't know what to expect. It looked interesting. I've seen a lot of um, reviews about it on Instagram and that sort of thing. That is just kind of a fun slasher movie. Um, I'm excited to see it. I like the way that the... Um, that the killer looks with the faceless mask. Uh, other than that, I don't know too much about this. Um, I'm excited to see what this is like. I do hope it is a fun slasher movie, kind of like what we got for Thanksgiving. Um, but we'll see how it goes. See you around. All right. What's up, uh, my fellow cellar dwellers? So going to be talking about It's a Wonderful Knife. I have now seen it. Um, quick shout out. If you want a Blood in the Cornfields t-shirt... Pretty sweet. Um, just DM us on Instagram or wherever. Uh, 25 bucks. Just let us know. So on to the movie. Um, no spoilers, by the way. So overall, I thought it was a pretty good holiday classic. Not classic, but holiday movie. Um, loved Justin Long in it. Uh, I think his character was pretty cool. Um, I am a huge Justin Long fan, so I don't want to say he can do no wrong, but he's pretty darn close. Um, the movies kind of scream ish, like, Hey, who done it? Not very hard to figure out though. Um, I feel like the comedy wasn't over the top, which for some people may enjoy. Some others they may not. Um, think Shaun of the Dead in my comparison to like, I don't want to say over the top, but like more comedy-esque. I would say that this was like a fourth of what Shaun of the Dead would be. Um, with that being said, uh, the main character, again, you guys know me, I'm terrible with names even though I just watched it. Um, the main character and the weirdo chick, I think have a really cool dynamic and it's very sweet. Um, and I like the ending for that part. So overall, definitely a movie worth watching. Um, wouldn't necessarily put it up in one of my tops for sure. But, uh, if it was out on physical media, I would probably own it. So that's about as best of a review as I can give it is that I would own it if it's on media. So, um, yeah, that, that's a wrap. So let me know what y'all think. Definitely put in the comments. Follow us on social media. We have a Kofi now. If you'd like to donate anything, we appreciate it. Just helps us be able to do things in the community better. So till next time. Well, it was a movie. <laughs> it started out great and got okay and then really off and then just eh, eh, towards the end. <sighs> Uh, I guess if I had to honestly give it a rating, I'd probably say, wow, a six out of ten. I, I, I like the first half of it. It was actually pretty good. And then it got weird from there. And I didn't particularly care for it too much mm. after that. So I'm watching my song. I know. <laughs> Here he goes. Yep. Playing with his Christmas toys. It's Christmas Day, by the way. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It was an interesting movie. I, it's been like, I don't know, a day or two since I saw it. I've just kind of been stewing on it. And I'm just like, had time to process it and really think about what you truly feel of it. Yeah. It's my favorite. Could you see yourself watching it again next Christmas? No. If I, okay. If I had a group of people to watch it with, because it's that meh of a movie maybe if I had a group of people that could riff on it while they're watching it and name all the tropes because they're very easy they don't leave too much to the imagination uh, I would enjoy that this was definitely not Thanksgiving at all <laughs> yeah definitely was not as fun as Thanksgiving like I said the first half of the movie was the best part and I feel like that candy cane kill that you saw in all the trailers really was just made for the trailers and was the only good kill in it. Hmm. My opinion. How about your thoughts on Justin Long as a horror actor? <laughs> if Justin Long is in a horror movie, then uh, he's dead. In some way or form, he's going to die. Uh, we don't know how. It's okay. He's just eventually going to be dead. He's not going to survive the movie ever. 
either he's an asshole or he's a lovable asshole or he's just oh a dude. He's just there. There's no in between. I do like him though. I think he's a funny guy. Like I think if he is given a part, he plays his part well. Um, I do like him. Like I said he is a lovable asshole for the most part, and he is definitely a dick in this one. Uh, but he was playing his little heart out, and I feel like everything else revolving around it just did not go with it, and I didn't like it that much. <laughs> so sorry it wasn't that great. As far as, like, spoilers, uh, the first half of the movie basically plays out like It's a Wonderful Life, where, like, the chick... The chick saves the day right after her best friend and her uh, be- best friend's boyfriend, I guess, that gets killed. And she saves the day. Wow! And she saves the day. Oh, don't chase after the cat. Um, by uh, killing Justin Long's mayor character. And, of course, you know, she wishes she'd never been born because of very mediocre things happening. Like, she didn't get a car for her Christmas present. And she's a buku rich because her dad took over as mayor afterwards after the mayor was killed. And she saved her brother from getting killed. And then there's, like, this really shoehorned-in love story that really is very, very weak and very sad. I wish, you know, if you're gonna do gay representation, do it properly. <laughs> like, this was just. It was mediocre. I feel like there was some chemistry between the, the two that were supposed to be, uh, you know, falling for each other. But, oh, wow, son, are you okay? <laughs> but also at the same time, I just feel like it was very weak. It wasn't handled very well. You didn't give them enough time to get to know each other. She was literally the weird girl, and she was very dismissive of her in the past version of herself. But when she wants to not be born and she does the whole Jimmy Stewart thing, then, you know, it actually... I don't know where I was going with that. I'm watching my son. (laughs) It wasn't that good of a movie. That's all I got to say. I wanted it to be better. I wanted to have more fun with it. I was hoping it would be more like Thanksgiving. Wow, I'm sorry. Nowhere close, was it? I don't know what else to say about it. Wasn't that great. All right, what's up, my fellow cellar dwellers? So, review for It's a Wonderful Knife. Um, spoiler edition. So the movie overall was not bad. I'll just say it was, you know, not one of my most favorites, but not a bad movie to watch. Um, little confused on why they kind of label it a comedy, but they didn't really throw a lot of comedy out. Um, Justin's long, Justin Long's character was pretty cool with the fake teeth and the weird hairstyle just, um, and all that. But I feel like they should have gone more with the comedy, um, if they wanted to label it a comedy, but it's just, I would kind of describe it as a fourth of Shaun of the Dead dead comedy. Maybe even less than that. Anyway, maybe an eight. Um, so the ending, um, it's a, it's a whole like, you know, who done it kind of scream ask, like who's coming after me type thing. Pretty damn predictable. Um, you know, it ends up being just along the beginning. You find that out very quickly. And then her father, one of the lead characters, uh, yeah, he's a well-known actor. I think his name's Joel. Um, I should have done research, but whatever. Fuck that. So, um, yeah, he ends up being the killer, and it's it kind of follows the premises of uh, It's a Wonderful Life, and where, you know, he's on the bridge, and I, if I remember right, and then he's thinking of committing suicide, and then he kind of goes back and um, goes through life as if he didn't exist, and that's kind of the same premise. Our main character, she wishes that, you know, a lot of these tragedies she feels uh, happen because of her, and then a year later... Um, she kind of regrets all of that, uh, everything that's happened after it. And so she gets to see her life as if she hadn't existed and it's a lot worse. So she's trying to rectify, you know, that wish that sent her, you know, into this new dimension to where she's, um, not existing, but still in everything the same parents don't recognize her, friends don't recognize her, all that sort of stuff. So, um, you know, a l- little bit unique, even though it's kind of a ripoff of it's a wonderful life, but it was meant to be that way. So, um, 
Yeah, a solid watch. I like how the ending kind of happened and it's like a happy ending and stuff like that. The main character, of course, I forget names, um, meets back up with the weirdo chick. And I thought that dynamic throughout the movie was pretty darn cool. Um, just kind of cutesy and that sort of stuff. So overall, Justin Long's in it, so it's going to be good with me. Um, not too bad of a watch. If it was on physical media, I would own it. So um, yeah, not too bad. So there's, there's, there's Chop Top. Chop Top would approve. Uh, also... Blood in the Cornfield shirt, so if you uh, want to take a stab at one, 25 bucks, just hit us up on Instagram, probably would be the easiest, but uh, let us know, that'll get into me, and I will order some, and um, yeah, let us know, so in the comment section, let us know what you think, let us know if you have any movies you want us to watch, we do have a Kofi. if any of you would like to donate, it's just going to make it that much easier for us to do things with the community. We want to do charity events, different things like that. So, and then lastly, if you're checking us out, um, on any platform, especially like with YouTube, for example, cause it's most popular. Um, I saw there's like 50 views on one and it's like eight likes. If you hit the like button, it's just going to help us out. It's going to boost the algorithm. It's going to make us more available to other people. So, uh, please, if you're watching and you genuinely like it, don't forget to hit the like button. It's just going to help us out that much more. So until next time, I will see y'all later. Well, Sorry I couldn't give you too much more. That's really all there is to it. I hope you enjoyed our tiny mini review of It's a Wonderful Knife. You guys go make your own opinions about it. Like, it it didn't work for me. I don't know how Mark felt about it. But you go see it. You go make judgments for yourself. But later on in January, we'll have more episodes coming out. And, of course, we'll try to have... Son. We'll try to have a New Year's episode at some point, but I'm not sure. We'll figure that out. Just stay tuned. <laughs> Doing okay? <laughs>